Hey you guys, welcome to your bi-weekly love reading. This is for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, or Rising for the remainder of December 2020. So I want to thank you guys for all your love and support. Uh, please keep in mind these are general readings, so they may or may not resonate, but hopefully you get some clarity. Um, also, if you guys are wanting to book a personal or private reading, uh, be sure to... Um, Check the description box below for ways to reach me. If you want to reach me by phone, that's a separate process. Just make sure that you're registered at Bill Per Call and um, request a call back by um, putting yourself into that call queue. If I don't get back to you the same day, I will get back to you within a seven day time frame. And uh, be sure to check out Patreon if you haven't had a chance. The Venus readings are there now, as well as uh, other bonus material that you might be interested in. All right, so we have Central Issue, Heart of the Matter, the Queen of Swords. We have the Seven of Cups. We have the Will of Fortune. We have the Lovers, the King of Pentacles, the Six of Swords, the Knight of Cups, and the Five of Pentacles. Hmm. All right, so I feel that something was destined, like you are being guided, but you're confused about your path or you're confused uh, in regards to what you should do in love. You may have uh, several love offers and you know that's why your your judgment could be clouded because you're like well how do I know who's real uh, or who's the one you also may have been having some sort of dreams and you're trying to uh, understand what those dreams mean does look like you've been receiving some sort of messages and there is some sort of decision that you're needing to make So if you're single, definitely could be connecting with someone or this is some sort of opportunity being placed in front of you, uh, whether or not it turns into a relationship that's yet to be seen. But it does look like within the next couple of weeks, someone will be placed in front of you. Um, if you are in a relationship, it's, it's still like a similar story. Um, you know, there. I feel like there's a decision to be made between two people. Um, I do feel that you are trying to allow spirit to guide you. You're trying to just let something play out. You're like, let me just play it by ear. Let me go with the flow of things and see where things are headed. The only thing it does look like something ends in rejection. Hmm. Something could be a missed opportunity. So I don't know if you feel like you waited too late or you let some sort of opportunity pass you by or th these are the feelings of someone else. It also looks like someone wants to communicate or wants to talk, but they just have too much pride to do so. So yeah, this is one of those situations where I feel like the door is open, but someone has yet to walk through it. Hmm. Yeah, so I feel like someone is communicating or it's like they're crying for help or crying for attention, but they just, they're, they're saying it indirectly. For some of you, I feel that you will meet someone who reflects your energy, who matches your energy. Um, and it's like it is like some sort of divinely guided connection. Something's going to seem like coincidence, but it was meant to happen or something was meant to play out this way. Yeah. So you, you could be dealing with air, 
water and possibly another earth sign. Hmm. I just feel like spirit is trying to guide you. I'm looking at Cupid. Cupid is pointing this way. You're looking up at the, the swords here in the boat and you're, you're being guided or directed here. I think you're also ignoring signs, clues, or hints. Hmm. Now, it also could be that you do make a decision, but then something's unrequited. But even so, it was meant to play out that way. I also feel like some of you are being... Um, you're being met with temptation. I feel like you are trying to go in one direction, but spirit keeps putting something in front of your face and confusing you. And you're like, well, I don't know what this means, spirit. And I'm looking at how she's beckoning. So someone may be very manipulative or very convincing. But again, I feel like something has to be done in this way to get your attention. Someone could be uh, used as spiritual bait to get you on your spiritual path. For whatever reason, you may be feeling like the black sheep of the family too. Or one minute you feel hopeful in love and the next minute you feel hopeless. I feel like someone wants to reconcile or someone wants to be friends again, but they're not communicating that. I feel like you also miss your friend. This may be mutual where two people miss each other, but they're not talking about it. Or the other thing I just got is that when I was saying that something seems unrequited, somebody is putting you in the friend zone. Hmm. I feel like someone's really been emotional and really going through some things. I also feel like someone is, like your friends may be trying to help you move on or to help you get back to your old self. But maybe you've changed. I'm feeling like you are wanting to be alone or you are wanting to figure something out on your own. I feel like you have connections, um, some sort of spiritual connections with uh, several people. And that's another thing why it's confusing because you might be thinking that you can only have this type of connection with a twin flame or you only one soulmate is supposed to come at a time and something's happening where maybe everybody's coming at the same time or you have like the same it, it gets confusing because you're like oh, I thought these were twin flame symptoms <laughs> and it's like well what is this because I'm having the same I'm having the same connection that I did with the twin flame and you know all of those labels they get confusing Okay, so I feel that if you're single and there's an opportunity for you to connect with someone, I feel like you're going to decide that you want to stay alone. 
you're like, no, I don't want to be in a relationship. I need to wait. I'm not ready. I feel like you might still be healing. Someone is also concerned about betrayal or something is kind of like a third party situation. I feel like someone's in a relationship and this person is enjoying their relationship. Everyone's supportive. The family likes this person. And then something happens where this someone else comes out of the blue. And it's like, this is different. This is even maybe taboo. Hmm. I feel like someone maybe feels like they're stuck between a rock and a hard place. I do feel like someone was happy and having a good time in a relationship and then something changes. I feel like maybe you are deciding to just follow your dreams or follow the person of your dreams or there's someone that you keep dreaming about and that's how spirit is trying to guide you oh I'm seeing something about having the best of both worlds you might be in a situation where you're like can I just be with both people or can I just merge both of these uh, personalities together and make one? Hmm. And then I also feel like somebody's just afraid of what the family thinks. It's like, I don't know how the fam like you might be excited about a potential love interest, but then for whatever reason you feel like your family won't be. Yeah, you are allowing other people's thoughts and opinions to affect your decision. Mm. Now, sexually, I just saw something where someone likes um, being... Someone is into BDSM. Uh, it could be both physically and mentally or one and the one and the other or the other um hmm someone is stuck someone cannot stop thinking about you or you can't stop thinking about somebody can't seem to get past something hmm i feel like you are being stubborn or you're stuck in your comfort zone or you want what you want Someone around you is also coming off as codependent or very clingy or very obsessive. Someone has an unhealthy habit or an unhealthy obsession. Someone might be sick mentally, physically, or spiritually. Mm. Someone also may be um, a smoker. Spiritually, I almost feel like you may be in a situation where you have multiple karmic relationships that need to be resolved and it just kind of happened all at once. Um, so it's like until this karmic debt is paid off, it's like you, you, you won't find peace. 
But all of these people are here to show you something about yourself. Hmm. I feel too like there's some sort of overindulgence going on. Someone is being very manipulative. Playing a lot of mind games. It could be you or it could be someone else. And since this is your reading Capricorn, I feel like you also just need to pay attention to your addictions because you could be addicted to rejection. You might like what you can't have. Maybe that feeds your soul for some reason and you need to at least acknowledge it. I know this sounds rough, but there are certain things in a person's birth chart that are inevitable and you're just simply living out your birth chart sometimes I feel like you can change certain things everyone is different and certain people I feel like hey this is just me it's meant for me to live this life out. it's it's more so meant for you to manage something more so than change it so now that you're aware of certain situations that you're always going to attract how do you manage it how do you maintain some sort of healthy relationships um, how do you maintain your happiness and being healthy and happy within yourself being emotionally happy so yeah I feel like there's something going on where this you're, you have some sort of a, addiction to rejection or being ignored. Yeah, I heard glutton for punishment. Maybe that's a Capricorn thing. Don't know. Um, so I do feel like someone is both your shadow and your twin, or it might be two completely separate relationships. I feel like something is a shadow twin and something is just like um, a twin flame. Or like I said, it's, it's, it's both. And that's why you're confused because you're because of the labels and feeling like, well, I thought that was twin flames. Well, I thought that was soulmates and I thought that was kindred spirits. And that might be something that you need to under, come to the understanding that the labels are just training wheels. And then at some point you have to break away from that and just embrace what is. It's saying too that you're torn and you need to just do what's best for you. I also feel like you are going to be um, a relationship is intense on purpose. That's so that you guys can stay um, in each other's lives or because until some sort of lesson is learned. And, you know, those of you that have been watching me, I always call it like spiritual bait. So it's just like, why can't you shake this energy? And it's, I feel like a spiritual bait. Like, even if a relationship is, is going through a hard time, it's difficult. I feel like it's something that you're supposed to be learning from the connection. You're also, you're always supposed to be asking, what are you supposed to be learning from this situation? What am I not seeing? What am I not getting? So, yeah. And again, I'm seeing soulmate, twin flame energy and karmic all in one. So you might be dealing with all three of those uh, type of relationships or just one uh, person that seems like they're one and the same or all, some of all of it. So maybe not get so caught up on, an, on the labels, but just to, like I said, embrace what is. And it does look like there's going to be a, a cycle that gets completed. 
if you stop ignoring it or avoiding it or running from your shadow. Yeah. All right, so hopefully those messages help, uh, but feel free to leave your comments. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Sending you love and grace.